Hi, we're going to talk about some additional resources for strengthening your marriage. So we had talked previously about counseling, and we think counseling's awesome, but if you and your spouse are not comfortable with that, we wanted to share some other options. And there's, you just always be working on strengthening your marriage, so you might not be going through, through something that is like, hey, we need professional help, but there's other things that you can do. Yeah, even when your marriage is like, so so why not build it you know so we talked about um some marriage retreats and things that we went to in the past we do a bunch of stuff at aspen grove every six months or so they have a little, like marriage getaway retreat thingy and those have been hit and miss like there's one they usually have four sessions of classes you can go to and there's one time we like ditched two of them because <laughs> we we're like meh we don't really like the speaker but it's hit and miss. Some days when it's hit, you're like, yes. But even if it like the speaker isn't great, just the act of being there and doing something that is meant to invest in and strengthen your marriage pays huge dividends. Yeah. So um, Shane and I have a really high tolerance for subpar <laughs> acting if the message of the movie is really good. So... There's this movie called Fireproof that's a Christian film, and there might be some subpar elements <laughs> about the movie, like maybe, you know, whatever. But um, but we loved it because of the message of the yeah, movie. Yeah, it's really good. And essentially, first of all, you should watch it, and maybe watch it with your spouse. That's a good strengthening activity. Um, but the story is there's this couple that is pretty much on the verge of divorce, and the husband um, goes to his dad and essentially says, I'm going to get divorced. Um, we're going to like file the papers any day. And his dad um, essentially had him promise to do this 40 day challenge that they called the love dare uh, before getting a divorce. And so this book just has 40 different things you can do each day to show love to your spouse. And Shane has done it twice for me, and I've done it zero times for him. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I should do it. And but, there have been many times that I've started it and didn't finish in between those two times. <laughs> yeah. But there was a point, I think it was towards the end of the year one time, where I was just feeling like I wasn't a priority to Shane, and I was crying and just saying, like, I need you to do something. I need you to like change and like show me that you're my, I'm a priority to you. And then he got this book out or he ordered it. Did you order it? Yeah. Is that when he ordered it first time? Yeah. He ordered this book and he just started doing it. I found the book halfway through, so I knew he was doing it. And she but didn't, I didn't tell I me. I didn't tell him. So I was <laughs> so happy. And then he gave it to me on Valentine's Day. And it was the best gift I had ever gotten. Like, love is the best gift. And seriously, this thing, it's the Love Dare um, by Kendrick. Um, and I think the people who did the movie put this book together. But it is seriously so good. I, I recommend it to anyone, whether you're in a rough patch in your marriage or your marriage is going awesome. This will change your life. I promise you. Um, and I'll read a couple of the things essentially every day in the book. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay, and Shane just gave a promise that it'll change your life. And that's like a big promise. But I think something that is powerful about this book and how it could change your life is even if your marriage is on the rocks and you're contemplating divorce, we are not against divorce. We think it can be really good in some mm -hmm. situations. But before you divorce, I think... We just want to say to you that Shane and I are not against divorce and we think that can be really good in some situations where there's abuse or extreme neglect or some of those things. But if you do end up getting a divorce, we think it's probably a really reassuring feeling to know that you gave your all and that you tried your hardest. And so this book helps give ideas of how you can try your hardest with giving love. Yeah, and so the way that it's structured, it has... 40, it's a 40 day thing and each day it has a principle and it just talks through the principle and then at the end of the day it has a challenge and I'll read a couple of like the first couple
couple days because I just think they're they're so good and they're they're really basic fundamental things. So uh, the first one is resolve to demonstrate patience and to say nothing negative to your spouse at all. Sometimes that's that can be hard. If the temptation arises, choose not to say anything. It's better to hold your tongue than to say something you'll regret. And then it has like a little spot where you can like journal about your experience and um, how you how you did how you felt how you handled it and like the second day is like love is kind and it says in addition to saying nothing negative to your spouse again today do at least one unexpected ge gesture as an act of kindness it's a really little thing but it's this like builds upon itself for 40 days and it's so good and what I found as I was doing it is it really does change me. More than trying to change Catherine in any way, it really impacted me and how I felt about Catherine and changing my behavior and my attitudes. And that is the miracle behind the book. And something I thought was really cool, I noticed a difference in him, a big difference. Like one day he came and he asked me, some question over like what are your hopes and dreams or something and I was like what like, you never this is weird you don't ask me <laughs> these kinds of questions and I was like I don't know to be a good person like or it was like what do you want to do before you die or something and I was like be nice to people like I don't have a lot of big dreams <laughs> so, but um but but it was fun to have attention and to feel like you cared and it was really awesome when he gave that gift to me for Valentine's Day but overall we just um, we just want to share that fact trying to find new resources and being proactive about building your marriage can just really bless your marriage and this book too is Bible based so it shares a lot of scriptures it's a Christian based book so yeah we think it's awesome yeah watch fireproof and go get the book <laughs>